Today's morning coffee vinyl side. Patty Page, Let's Get Away From It All, 1958. Patty Page was a huge star, and I know why. She has a warmth to her voice that projects strength and confidence while being nurturing at the same time. Coming off my near-death experience, I felt it immediately. Comfort, like an embrace. Strange, as this is the first music I've listened to since returning from the hospital. Vocally, she swings like Darlene Love, but has the pipes that remind me of Shirley Bassey, one of the few breakout singers popular through the late 40s through the 50s. Patty was able to sustain her popularity well into the 60s when many of her contemporaries had disappeared. I find that interesting, to be sure, but my head's in too big a fog to think too deeply on this as my body purges itself of the medications that were used to keep me sedated and intubated for so long. I'm drinking coffee, a small cup with some water and tea biscuits, and scheduling out my meds. I wonder if I'm even here. I was lucid dreaming and hallucinating most of my hospital stay, like a movie was playing in my head on the back of my eyelids. I've never seen such vivid and detailed images with my eyes closed. Last night's sleep started okay and turned into more of a nightmare where I was on an Australian beach resort that had been overrun with parasitic organisms that were eating the people there alive, including me. I dragged myself out of bed to sit upright in our living room until I could turn the images off. Had I known that Patty could be so nurturing, I'd have put this record on to clear my head. But I made it through. I'm trying to keep sharp. Thanks to everyone for their kind words of support and concern. It really meant a lot to me, and I very much appreciate it. And Morning Coffee Vinyl Side will continue. You got that for sure. <laughs>